Hello everyone and welcome to another Surface RT video and in this video I want to show you where the line between a PC and a tablet is blurred when we're looking at the Surface RT. In a previous video where I was having a bit of a rant, uh, by the way I've got over my rant for the time being, I wanted to download or find an application called Love Film, which is a video streaming service which is similar to Netflix. However, when I go to the uh, Windows App Store, which is working now, by the way, uh, there are no results for this Love Film app, so presumably it doesn't exist. This application is available on Xbox, Wii, um, Nintendo Wii, and also on the Amazon Kindle tablet, but it's not available on Android either, so uh, the app's not readily available on everything. So, is there an alternative way I can play Love Film videos on my tablet? Well, the obvious answer is to potentially try the Internet Explorer application because the web browser on the Windows RT tablet is very good and can handle uh, much more things than a browser on other tablets. So, let's go to the uh, browser and I've already loaded up Love Film so I can immediately go to a video and attempt to watch one of them. So let's try uh, Eads of March as just a random example. Uh, let's see if we can watch it on the tablet. And then we come up with this message which says, you need Silverlight software version 4.0 or higher to watch this title. And if I try and go and install it, I'm not going to get very far. I've done a bit more research on this and I've checked on the official Microsoft website and apparently there doesn't seem to be any future plans to have Silverlight supported on the Surface RT or Windows RT operating system. And of course Silverlight is a Microsoft uh, piece of software. So this is where you get to the point where you're wondering whether something is going to work on a tablet or not because it's because of this Windows operating system. On Flash, you kind of uh, do get the advantage of having Flash working on most websites with the Microsoft whitelist. But it's not quite the case where you need to install certain plugins, such as the Silverlight, in order to make the uh, videos work. So I'm stuck and I can't use the uh, Love Film uh, service on the Surface RT. Now for some people this has been a bit of a deal breaker. I was reading comments from people saying that because it doesn't support this they're sending the tablet back. So it's something to be aware of and I'm not trying to bring this up as a criticism but as a difficult position that this particular tablet finds itself in because I'm sure there are going to be many other examples like this where people are wondering will this actually work on my tablet or not? I'm not entirely sure. Should I buy one? and it creates a bit of doubt with uh, of course Apple iPad and Android you're fairly certain and sure what it can and can't do which is uh, I must admit significantly less than Surface RT but at least it's clear to the consumer that they know what they can use obviously over time as the Windows Surface RT and the Pro uh, begin to distinguish themselves as individual and separate tablets we'll know more but this is the con the constant grey area that the Surface RT finds, him, finds itself in. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you found that informative and not as critical as previous videos. I'm going to do some more videos soon, I can assure you when I am going to find some positive things about the Surface RT. But it's just a bit of a, a difficult uh, period uh, with my relationship with a tablet at the moment. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon in another Surface RT video.